Hello everyone, the Senpai Code here. So for today's lesson, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make flicker and lights. This can be used for space stations, horror games, it can be used for thunderstorms, so if you want lightning flashes, you can use this on a directional light. Basically, you can attach this script to a empty game object or your first light on the scene. Here's the script right here. It's a public game object array. Flicker and lights is what I named it. Light lights. And then it has a public float min flicker and time uh, 0.1f public float max flicker and time 0.4f. So this is, as you can see on the script here, so you can adjust how fast your lights are going to be flickering. And this setting that I have right here is at this speed. And it's whatever you tag as flickering lights. So this one isn't tagged. So if you want to just grab different lights on the scene, if you have one in the bathroom in front of a mirror and you want to flicker or down the hallway you want to flicker, then you can just attach uh, the tag here. So you just go add tag hit the plus, make the tag, flickering lights, whatever you name it in the script here, which I'll be going over right now. So we have the void start. So flickering lights equals game object dot find object, game objects with tag flickering light. So here's where you'd put your tag, whatever it is. And this script will actually find those. So it's only on this first light. Like I said, you can put on a game object if you want. And these ones don't have it. They just have the tag up here. Well, not this one, but uh, these ones do. So if I want, I can actually change this to flicker and light, this one off to untag. And then so now this one will flicker and this one won't. That simple. So the script, it will find all of the flicker and lights, so all the game objects in the array. And you don't need to put it in the array here. So as you can see, the size, uh, size is zero. So it's gonna find them all and it's gonna put it in there and then it's gonna activate them all is what that is. So see we're at zero, now it's gonna find all the ones for the tag and it's automatically gonna put it in there because we do have the find objects with tags. So it'll go on to the lights equals flicker and lights in the array here, get component light. So it's gonna find all of the lights that are tagged and then it's gonna find the light and it's going to turn these on and off. So it's gonna start the co-routine, sorry, flicker lights. So here's the co-routine, the lights, lights. So while true, yield return, new, wait for seconds, random range, min flicker time and the max flicker time. And then it's going to, to go lights enabled and then lights disabled. That's how simple this script is and it's so useful. Like I said, you can use this for lightning storms, throw it on your directional light for your level to have it flash to open up the whole level. All you need to do is uh, to light up the whole level, sorry. Change the min and max time to what it is that you want it to flash at and how many times you want to flash kind of in between. And then if you have music uh, sound effects, thunderstorm sounds and stuff, rain, you can match the time here to that time. So this can be used for multiple purposes here. And it's uh, that simple. And like I said, you can turn different ones on if you just want one every so often in the washroom, whatever. Just all you need to do is tag it. Boom. Done. You don't have to attach a script onto it. It just needs to be on a, either an empty game object or the first light in the scene, whatever. And you're good to go. So anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and have a good one.